When it comes to vanilla extract, the flavor and quality of homemade just can't be beat, not to mention how cost effective it is and how easy it is to throw together. So in this video, I'd like to show you how to make it. You only need two ingredients to make vanilla and those are the vanilla beans and either alcohol or glycerin, depending on your preference. In this video, we'll take a look at how to make both kinds. The first step is to buy your vanilla beans. The main thing to look for are beans that appear a little plump and oily and have a delectable vanilla smell. There are a few options to look at though, and here's how you break those down. There are quite a few sources for beans, and if you're looking for just the typical vanilla flavor, Madagascar is the kind you want to reach for. But beans from different localities also are great in extract, and each one has their own unique notes to their smell and flavor, so you can also experiment using different kinds and see what you like the best. Looking at the grades, grade A beans are typically the nicest looking beans and are usually used for desserts or fancier food items. Grade B beans are still great quality, but they may look a little less pretty. Either grade is great for extract, but grade B is often used since extract beans don't need to look quite as good, and they're a little less expensive than grade A too. The ones on the left are grade A organic beans from Madagascar, and the quality and smell were amazing. These were $20 for 10 beans, which is enough to make a whole pint of extract. On the right are grade B Tahitian beans and they smell just as amazing. They were $12.99 for 10 beans. You may find that the price will vary between beans from different regions but they seem to average close to the same. The main difference in pricing being between grade A and B and organic and conventional. Next is to decide on glycerin or alcohol and here are the pros and cons of each. Alcohol provides a better extraction as it's a little more effective at pulling the oils and flavors from the beans. It also has a longer shelf life and a more neutral flavor so that you mainly just taste the vanilla. Glycerin brings its own sweet flavor, which adds even more sweetness to the extract. It does have a shorter shelf life and isn't quite as good as pulling out the flavors, but it still works great. And it's a wonderful alternative to alcohol if you choose to avoid that. If you choose to use alcohol, vodka and rum are the two alcohols that are generally used. They both have a very neutral flavor so that they don't overpower the flavor of the vanilla. I personally like to choose a light rum since vodka is grain based, but whichever one you choose, you want to make sure that you get at least 70 proof or higher. If you decide to use glycerin, just look for a good food grade vegetable glycerin. I personally like to make sure it's palm or coconut based. Now that we have everything we need, here's how easy it is to make vanilla extract, starting with the alcohol base. The general rule for ratios is about two ounces of beans per 16 ounces of liquid. That amounts to about 10 to 12 vanilla beans. Grab your jar and lid using one with a nice tight seal such as a canning jar. Take your beans and slice them lengthwise down the bean. You just wanna split them open to help release all that gorgeous paper and flavor inside. Place the beans in your jar, then simply pour 16 ounces of alcohol over the top. Put the lid on tightly, label with a date, and put it in a cool, dark place. Allow it to steep for a minimum of two to three months. The longer you leave it though, the stronger the flavor will be. Some people will even leave it up to a year before using it. Once it's ready, you can just leave the beans in and start using it as is. To make it last longer, you can even top it off a couple of times with more alcohol. It will continue to extract the flavor and make your beans stretch a little farther, but I personally probably wouldn't do this more than two or three times as it may start getting weaker after that. Making the glycerin extract is exactly the same process. Slice your beans lengthwise, place them in your jar, and cover with 16 ounces of vegetable glycerin. Allow it to steep for two to three months or longer, and it's ready to go. You can top this off with glycerin a couple of times, just like you can with the alcohol one. Once you try homemade vanilla extract, it's almost impossible to go back to store-bought just for the flavor alone, but cost effectiveness is huge as well. Here's how it breaks down in cost. For alcohol-based extract, it costs about $8 for a 33 ounce bottle of rum and about $13 for 10 grade B beans. This adds up to about $18 for one pint of extract. Glycerin can vary in price, but I can usually find it for about $32 a gallon plus the cost of beans, which breaks down to about $17 for a pint of glycerin extract. Store-bought vanilla averages at about $8 for two ounces of pure vanilla extract. So for the sake of size comparison, it would come to about $60 four dollars for a pint of extract. So whether you make it with alcohol or glycerin, you can see that it's so easy to throw together and if you could only smell it, you would probably agree with me that it is well worth the effort. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.